Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with another video. And since it is Saturday night, I figured there is no better time to share my Monster Vision collection. Since you're all horror fans, I'm sure you know what Monster Vision is. But in case you don't, Monster Vision was a show on TNT that ran in the 90s, originally hosted by Penn & Teller, and then later more famously hosted by Joe Bob Briggs. Monster Vision usually aired for two episodes on Saturday nights, and sometimes even more, lasting into late hours of the night. Each episode lasted approximately two hours long, so that the entirety of a cheesy B-movie, usually horror, could be played. Before and after the film, and during commercial breaks, Host Joe Bob Briggs would make funny comments about the movie, usually commenting on the bad acting, the cheesy effects, and all that good stuff. Many times he would also comment on the censorship of the films, since they were being played on TNT. Before each movie began, Joe Bob Briggs would also have his drive-in totals for that particular film. For example, he'd say something like, Nine dead bodies, one reanimated body, two dead beasts, and one fuzzy wang doodle. Overall, growing up in the 90s as a horror fan, was fantastic because we got Monster Vision on Saturday nights and it was definitely a nostalgic part of growing up for me. So in this video, I will be showing my Monster Vision collection. Now keep in mind that Monster Vision has never gotten an official release. So all of the DVDs you'll see in this video have never been released in stores and cannot be purchased. This set right here is a three disc set that actually only includes certain segments of certain episodes. The movies are not included on this set. So all you really get here are the talking segments with Joe Bob Briggs. Now, you may think that's silly, but if you've ever seen Monster Vision, you know that those are entertainment enough. Don't get me wrong, it's great to have the movies as well, but some of his commentary was fantastic, and again, it really has that nostalgic value for me. Um, one of the big things, one of the big episodes of Monster Vision with Joe Bob Briggs was a Friday the 13th marathon that took place on Halloween one year. Now, I remember actually coming home and watching this pretty much all night. They played Friday the 13th, one through six, and it was just fantastic. And while the movies were being shown, you know, in between each movie and at commercial breaks, there was also kind of another story going on with Joe Bob Briggs in the studio, where he felt that he was almost being stalked by somebody in the studio. Um, and there was a bit of a twist at the end of it all. But again, it was almost like a movie within a movie on the show. Those Friday the 13th segments are included here. Again, the movies themselves are not in this set, but I do have the Joe Bob Briggs segments. Now, while this set doesn't include the full episodes because they do not include the movies, the rest of the discs I'll be showing you do in fact include the movies and are the entire episodes. Each of the following discs includes two full episodes, including the full movies on each disc. First up is a double feature of Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2. Then we have Carrie. In Child's Play 2. Next we have Phantasm, and you guessed it, Phantasm 2. Then we have The Fog, along with Swamp Thing. Next was the Christmas episode of Monster Vision, and those films were Gremlins, and kind of a rare title, in Pet Shop. Next we have a non-horror Monster Vision, with Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, but it was teamed up with Ice Cream Man. Next one, we have The Return of the Living Dead and The Kiss, another rare title. Then we have a double feature of The Beastmaster and Beastmaster 2. Another non-horror Monster Vision episode with Pee-wee's Big Adventure teamed up with Maximum Overdrive. Then we have part six of that Friday the 13th marathon I was telling you about with Friday the 13th part six, along with In the Mouth of Madness. Next we have The Stepfather and The People Under the Stairs. 
And finally, the fun house and poltergeist. So there you have it. My Monster Vision collection consisting of 24 full episodes and movies with what I consider a bonus set of those random segments from the show. Now, if you guys have seen Monster Vision, which I'm sure you have, it is amazing. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite episode was or your favorite movie from the show. I love talking about this stuff with you guys. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate it.